Hello everyone, Manny here, and welcome to Vault 308. So I've just been playing a little bit of Fallout Shelter, now that the new updates come out and it's on PC. Uh, really liking it. Not so much of a game that you just flat out play all the time, but it's kind of a game you play and you put it down and then you pick it back up. So I'm not going to be showing all this stuff right here because this has already pretty much been shown. What I am going to showcase is the new quest system that was just introduced uh, in the latest patch. So in order to be able to do quests, you have to buy yourself an overseer's office, okay? And then that gives you access to send your dwellers out on these quests. Now, what's really strange is that this 17 hours, yeah, that's real time 17 hours. Same thing here, 12 hours, 4 hours. Uh, but we're going to go for these. We're going to go on ahead and try the journey to the center of Voltopolis. Namely because, um, I don't know, I just like the setup. And it's 15 episodes, so this series is really going to be our adventure to getting into Voltopolis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it survival diary style, where we'll go, and then I'll show you guys the action. And then they'll come back, and then we'll start again. Okay, so... We have ourselves a few commandos that we've been training for the mission. Okay, we have S. Bears. She's been working out in the athletic studio. Now, there's a couple of things I've learned, and if you guys already know this, just call me Base in the uh, comments below. But I'll go on ahead and talk about it anyway, because the game, as usual, doesn't explain it, and it hopes for you to get around it okay so we have s bears here her special is high agility so what that means is that she needs weapons based on agility now it doesn't tell you on the weapon unless I'm missing it but it does tell you when you're crafting the weapon well, we're gonna go on ahead and give them uh, the lion's share of stem packs and uh, right away just because we make a bunch of it and we're always getting it all right so let's go on ahead and get it started but first let me just say this real quick okay pistols are agility based weapons so vault dwellers with higher agility should shoot pistols okay rifles are perception based so vault dwellers with high perception should shoot rifles shotguns are endurance based so vault dwellers with high endurance should shoot shotguns now know that everyone's agility affects their auto attack rate. So you're going to want a high agility plus a high stat in another. S Bears is different because she has all the agility, which just means that she has a higher chance of uh, getting cut down. Alright, so we got our team assembled and I've already trained them up to be ready for the quest. Uh, so let's get going. And, you know, we get ourselves a raider attack, like, right when it was time to go. I always thought it's funny. They'll, like, just cross each other. But it's okay. Guess I'm going to have to deal with this before we get out of here. So being Vault 308, we kind of ended up with tons of weapons. Yeah, we're just kind of going to leave that guy to his fate, because I don't feel like moving anyone right now. You did fine, Willie. You did fine, buddy. So they made the mistake of coming in here. He's using the wrong weapon, so we'll need to take care of him, but... I kind of like that my diner's on the very top. Um, yeah, why not? And I'm always got low storage. Alright. Thank you. Okay, so now, if we come out here, we can see that the guys are on their way. It's going to take them 28 minutes to get there, so I'll see you guys in 28 minutes. All right, and we've made it. So we're at Vault 730. 
So I've only gotten like one pet so far, and I think it only bolsters healing. Alright, so we'll just take it by the numbers. See how big this Wow, this place is kind of big. And so basically, we just kind of pick your dwellers up, and we just move them through the facility. good okay and you'll find like some treasures and stuff along the way the elevators I don't necessarily enjoy too much it's like mm. all right so let's see what was waiting for us I don't know. I expected to see a little more action, but this place is kind of big. Right. Jeez, team. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to say that training definitely paid off. In typical man faces faction, right? Over prepared myself. Some raiders. No rolling. Oh, I want that knife. Malay weapons are kind of rare. Good job, guys. All right, man. Excellent. Junk, a little bit of loot. Alright, what's everybody looking like? Tester's okay, Asparagus is fine. Yeah, okay, so we're good. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. Moving the screen, you can also grab the dwellers. But as usual, <laughs> ports of things don't really get too much attention. They're just like, ah, it'll work. I think we're about halfway in now. Alright, come on, guys. Tight. going on tester you might have the, the I think you do have the worst weapon actually it's not your fault I just haven't found a really good rifle yet get you some money and stuff like that this vault was built strangely but I can understand the multiple elevators after messing around with it for a while tight confines for raiders man we're gonna have to upgrade you again Keep moving. Just oh no, it's just an elevator up here, right? And then I guess you just go room room by room. As if we were Rainbow Six Vegas or something. Alright, I believe that we were guaranteed to get two of those. So I'm wondering if those are the two. Which are good. I've been trying to kind of hold them for our later adventures because some of those trips take like literally 24 hours. <laughs> I 
you're starting to think it was a mistake. Come on, guys. Perk up. Look, would I let you down? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I haven't always been the best of overseers. Alright. So, whatever's down here will probably <laughs> be the turning point. Yeah, that roll slash. That was pretty cool. Aww. Yep. Tell me about it. You guys have been together since the beginning. Ever since I started, I figured I'd need uh, a shock team. You guys are worse than the last intruder. Paula, what's her name? Paula Plumpkin. Where did she go? Some old Nuka Cola plant. Not that it matters. You ain't leaving here alive. Whatever, lady. You're by yourself. <laughs> and already at half health, man. I think you need to train your agility a little more, man. Because you literally didn't even get a shot off. All right, good job, team. Oh, so we did get extras for exploring. All right, so there's only this one room here. And I don't think it goes anywhere. I think we're good to go. All right. We did it. Let's head on back. So we got ourselves four quantums up. Oh, that might be Lady's new weapon. Definitely. Alright, and then there you guys see. So it usually takes them about half as much time to get there uh, to get back. So it took them 30 minutes to get there, so it'll be about 15. Or I can give them a quantum to come back instantly, but it's okay. Their loot wasn't astronomical or anything. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my first episode of uh, the journey to Voltopolis. I'm going to try to keep this going because the vault itself is kind of like a simple concept of managing, you know, managing resources. It's a resource management simulator, which is fun, but the little adventures always have a little bit of Fallout style humor, and I'm kind of liking that. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more fun. It's been Man Faces, signing out. Take care, everyone.